From mid June to the end of July, Illinois State Police say they've conducted 201 statewide details to remove firearms from people who've had their FOID cards revoked for felony convictions or threatening actions. We will do everything in our power to prevent mass shootings and gun violence of any kind. Illinois State Police Director Brendan Kelly telling us out of more than 1,700 FOID compliance checks from June 16th to July 31st, 1,014 people in Illinois were brought into compliance, surrendering their FOID cards and transferring their firearms, some seen here, out of their possession. That includes Christian Rask in Batavia, who was arrested in July after a clear and present danger report. Law enforcement executed a search warrant and found a pistol, two rifles, more than a thousand rounds of live ammunition, a ballistic vest, explosives, an incendiary device, and bomb making materials in the individual's home. Enforcement efforts began in 2019 after law enforcement learned the shooter who killed five people at the Henry Pratt Company in Aurora had his FOID card revoked but still had his guns. We worked with the state police. I, I have been working with them to um, increase manpower, create a dedicated unit um, on FOID card revocation enforcement. But Republican State Senator John Curran of Downers Grove says new questions linger over cracks in the FOID system after the alleged Highland Park shooter Robert Cremo III was able to legally obtain his FOID card and firearms. We should expect more diligence. We should expect more investigation from our law enforcement uh, agency around the FOID Act. Illinois State Police say new emergency rules that went into effect last month are still in place, allowing more flexibility to deny a FOID application and retain clear and present danger reports. ISP say 33 departments have signed up for $2 million in grants to step up FOID card enforcement. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.